Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you a cool, simple, and easy way to get extra casting distance out of your popping cork, okay? So the first thing you need is a popping cork with a titanium wire. You're going to need a pair of pliers with a split ring opener, all right? You're going to need a quarter ounce trolling weight and a split ring, okay? So the first thing you want to do is attach the split ring to the eye of this swivel, all right? Make sure it's on the weighted end, all right? So you take it, pinch it open, okay? This might take some practice, right? So sometimes you might get it on the first try, sometimes you won't. So hopefully I'll get it on the first try, and I did, yes. All right, you take it and you turn it, turn it, turn it until you hear a snap, okay? Now you have a split ring on the eye of the swivel. Next is you wanna attach the eye of the trolling wheel onto the split ring, okay? Same process, a little simple. Okay, pinch it through the eye. Turn it, turn it, turn it until you hear a snap. All right, now you have a quarter ounce trolling weight that adds extra weight so you can cast a bit further, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to rig it for um, fishing with live shrimp. A little simple. Take fluorocarbon leader, okay? I usually start off with uh, four feet of fluorocarbon leader. Um, sometimes I go longer, sometimes I go shorter, depending on the uh, depth of my fishing and depending where the fish are in the water column. So, I used to start off with four feet, but with this demonstration, I'm not gonna pull that four feet. I'm gonna go that much, all right? So you take the leader through the eye. I do the trialing knot, which is real simple, which is, you know, five twists, one, two, three, four, and five. Back through the loop. All right, make sure you're nice, nice, clean knot, cinch it, pinch it, okay. And slip off the tag end. I leave a little bit of the tag, that's my preference, all right. Then on the other end, go ahead and make a snip there. All right, and I use a size eight treble hook. Um, you can use single hooks, um, but I prefer using treble hooks and that's what I use, all right? So through the eye. Same knot, the trilene knot. One, two, three four and five through the loop all right slide your finger out carefully you don't want to get stuck by a hook and a nice pull it for a nice clean knot all right so there you go snip the tag all right and then what i also do is i take a size five split shot okay so I usually measure about six to eight inches from the eye of the hook up. So like so, and pinch it. There you go. You have a rig to, to fish with live shrimp, okay? Now, if you don't have live shrimp, you can always use artificial. So real simple. I'm gonna snip this off and I'll show you how to tie on a artificial. So this is a DOA shrimp, um, it's already weighted, and now it has a hook, simple setup, tie the trolley knot on here, all right? Um, with artificials, you're gonna have to work your popping cork a lot more than fishing with live shrimp. With live shrimp, I'll be honest with you, it's automatic, you'll catch fish, all right? Same thing, trolley knot, one, two, three, four, and five. Pinch it, pinch it, and snip. So, there you go. All right, so it's gonna look like this. All right, it's gonna float. All right, and you're gonna pop it. When you pop it, this titanium wire is gonna lift the bait up and move it. So the fish are attracted to the noise, to the sound, and they're gonna look for it, 
and then you're gonna see that and they're gonna bite it, okay? You can also use paddle tails, all right? Paddle tails with a jig head, all right? Same thing, all right? You can tie it on with a trilene knot. So no need for a split shot, all right? Simple enough, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Fish on. Fish on. What's it feel like? Red? Oh, trout, monster trout. Oh shit, that's a big trout. Oh shit, we got no net. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on.